Let's try and end the year on a high, shall we? Hi, welcome, come on in. My name is Aoife and today I am taking you through my winter TBR. Every season I like to make a little TBR of the books that I'd really like to get through over the next three months. They're usually pretty seasonal, they're usually pretty atmospheric to the time of year that we're in and this time is absolutely no exception. I think this might be the most seasonal TBR that I've made this year and I have had my eye on some of these books pretty much all year. The one that I have probably had my eye on the most across the whole of 2023 is Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. I've heard so many things about this. I've heard so many people who have read this and absolutely loved it. My friend Lily from Literary Lily gave this four stars and she was completely blown away by it. I know a couple of other people who've really loved this too. Ice hockey romances are really having their moment on BookTok and on BookTube and on Bookstagram at the moment and I want to be a part of it. I've had FOMO about this for a really long time. But I feel like now, winter, when it's going to start getting really cold, when the ice rinks are going to start opening around the city, I feel like now is the time to actually read it. This book is about Nate and Anastasia. Nate is the captain of the college's hockey team and Anastasia is a figure skater who's there on a scholarship. And due to some scheduling issues and some budgetary issues, they are forced to practice on the same ice rink for their upcoming games and for their upcoming competition. Now, this does drive a wedge between the two of them and it makes them be a little bit more competitive towards the other, but the ice does start to slowly thaw. I don't know why I said slowly because I've seen a couple of graphics on Instagram and I've seen a couple of people on TikTok talking about how spicy this book is. They have started like a spicy chapters you should watch out for in Icebreaker and it already starts in chapter eight. I am beyond excited to get to this one and I'm really hoping that this one is going to blow me away. Next up is Winter by Ali Smith. I am going to be buddy reading this with Shannon from 155 Books and with Amelia from Amelia Barlow Books. We sat together and we said that we wanted to read all of the seasonal quartet across 2023, 2024 and this is the next one up for us. We all read and enjoyed Autumn, but I feel like this is going to be a little bit of a different book. Winter is always a little bit darker, it's always a little bit more atmospheric than Autumn is, so I feel like the book might take a little bit of a darker turn with its themes, with its content, and I'm really excited to see how it's going to go. I am also really interested to see if the books are going to interconnect in any way, if there's going to be characters who turn up again, or if there's going to be themes that happen again. I'm kind of intrigued to see what happens. I'm really interested to see where we're going to go. Next one I'd like to get to is Just Like Magic by Sarah Hogel. I have already read You Deserve Each Other and that was a kind of middle of the road book. I didn't love it, but I also didn't hate it. And I really hope that this one is going to turn my fortunes around. This one is following Betty, who is a social media star, but her life is completely different to the facade that she has put up there. Betty is actually broke. She is pretty devastated by her life as a general. And one night she accidentally plays All I Want for Christmas is You backwards and ends up summoning Hall, who is like this massive Christmas fan. And he injects a little bit more of Christmas magic into her. They also decide to fake date each other and Hall poses as Betty's fiance, but things might start to become a little bit more real as the book continues. I absolutely love a fake dating trope. It's my favorite romance trope to read. And I feel like wrapping it up in the magic of Christmas is just going to make it even better for me. Another super Christmassy book that I've had my eye on for a really long time is Love Light Farms by B.K. Barrison. I know that this is the first of a series and I know that the other two books in the series don't have anything to do with Christmas, but I need to get to this one first so that I can get to the others. This one is following Stella and Levi. Stella is in charge of a Christmas tree farm that is going through a pretty bad spell at the moment, which is weird because it's Christmas. So she decides to apply to a Christmas tree farm competition that is being run by Evelyn St. James. You cannot tell me that that's not a reference to the Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo because I genuinely will not believe you. In the process, she enlists Levi as her fake boyfriend because for some reason, there's a stipulation in the contract that she has to have a partner while she's taking part in this competition. Levi and Stella obviously fake date to put up the front that she has got a successful partner, she's got a successful business, and they start to really fall for each other as the book goes on. This is a friends to lovers fake dating romance set across Christmas, and I am so excited to read it. I think from the cover, it might be a little bit spicier than you might expect, 
but I'm not entirely sure what the spice level is. I have avoided quite a lot of spoiler reviews. I've avoided quite a lot of people talking about this just so that I could go into it and experience it as a first time. So let's see how we go. The final Christmas romance that I am hopefully going to get to across winter is Make You Mind This Christmas by Lizzie Huxley Jones. I've known Lizzie on Twitter and on Instagram for a couple of years. They're such a really warm, really friendly person. And I cannot wait to actually read this book. It's also coming out here in German, but I think I'm gonna read it in English first, get to grips with it, and then see if I can tackle the German version. This is about half who goes to a Christmas party one evening and is found in the arms of one of her best friends, Christopher. And now everyone assumes that they're the friendship group's next it couple, that things have been heating up slowly over the last couple of weeks. So they decide to roll with it because Christopher has just come out of a relationship and half goes back to spend Christmas with him and his family. What she didn't expect is to start falling for his sister. I am so excited to see how this one is gonna go. I've heard so many great things about it and Lizzie's been talking about it for a couple of months now because the German version is coming out so they're trying to bring a little bit more of a spotlight onto the book, but I am so excited to finally get to it. Those are five books that I really want to make a priority over November, December and January. Are there any of those books that you think I should start with or are there any of those books that you also have got your eye on? If you would love to leave me a comment but you can't think of anything you'd like to say, then just leave me a snowflake emoji. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I have new videos up every week. Now, get on out of here.